Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Hiking the Appalachian Trail. I'm very excited today because today we're going to do the last section in Pennsylvania. So I'm about to start climbing up to the ridge and uh, I'm on the side of the road so it's very noisy. So let's start climbing up and I'll tell you more about it once I get up there. Let's get out of Pennsylvania. All right, so we're closer to the ridge so I can tell you what we're doing today. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I am at Wind Gap starting from my last finish point and I'm going to head north on the Appalachian Trail and reach Delaware Gap. So we're crossing the uh, Pennsylvania, New Jersey state line. Uh, it's winter and dates are very, very short. So I'm going to make two short days instead of a long one and uh, do an overnight camping at one of the shelters. So uh, it's supposed to rain tonight, so there's definitely incentive to get to the shelter earlier. But otherwise, it's a beautiful day. It is cold, it's about 30 degrees, but it is sunny and it's supposed to be in the 40s today, so it's the perfect hiking weather. So let's get going and get to New Jersey. So this first mile is definitely very steep. I'm halfway there, but I'm all sweaty already. So, but it's a very nice view of Wing Gap from here. Oh, what a beautiful day.
only have 2.8 miles to go uh, to reach the place where I would like to camp tonight. Uh, it's been a beautiful day, but the temperature is definitely starting to drop. Uh, the forecast for tonight is supposed to be very cold and also a lot of rain. So I just stopped for a very, very quick break to get something to eat and I'm going to keep going so I can make it to my campsite before it starts raining. Well, as you can see, <clears throat> well, the snow is definitely a few inches uh, deep, and there is a layer of uh, ice underneath the snow. So this this part of the trail is a little treacherous. Gotta be very careful because it's all ice underneath, and about two and a half, three inches of snow. So, but it certainly is beautiful. Hi guys, uh, an afternoon, mid-afternoon update. I arrived at Fox Gap, uh, Route 191, and uh, once I cross the road, I should be about, look, just about half a mile from where I would like to camp tonight. So I'm very, very close, and I should have plenty of daylight to still make it and get everything done. So, almost there. I made it to the shelter. I'm at the Kilcritch shelter and I am going to stay here for the night. Uh, it is it's going to rain tonight and the temperatures are dropping quickly. It's getting very windy. So I'm going to stay in the shelter and uh, get all my chores done very quickly so I can get in my sleeping bag and bundle in for the night. But uh, the shelter is on top of a hill and uh, I see the valley from here and I'm gonna double check, but I think what I'm looking at is New Jersey. So, uh, gonna get everything done, enjoy the rest of the evening, and certainly bundle up because it's gonna get cold. But uh, I'll turn around the camera so you can see the view before it gets dark. And this is home for the night. I think it's gonna be a nice sunset. And there's the view. And I'm not sure, but I think that is the Delaware River or Delaware Gap. I'm not sure. I'm going to double check and correct if that is not the right information. But I'm pretty sure part of that is New Jersey. So that's the view from the shelter. 
Freebie and my home sweet home for the night. So I am very grateful for this pavilion that is attached to the shelter because you can do everything you need to do and don't get wet. The forecast for today, for tonight, it's uh, heavy rains, so it's definitely going to pour. So I'm glad to have this place where I can get everything done and not get wet. Room with a view. Good morning and welcome to day two and last day in Pennsylvania. So uh, as you can tell, it's a beautiful morning and it's going to be on the warmer side. Uh, but this is not indicative of last night. Uh, the night was, it was pretty crazy last night. Uh, the winds picked up. It, it was horrible. It was horrible. It was a very, very strong gust of winds. I haven't checked how fast it was, but it, it was pretty bad. And it started raining around 7.30, and it didn't stop until about 7 this morning. So I did what I'm not supposed to do. I set up my tent inside the shelter. I know, I'm not supposed to do that, but I waited until it was dark. I was the only one here, so I was not taking space from anyone. But I'm glad I did because the wind was unbelievable and uh, the double wall on the tent really helped uh, with the wind and with the rain that was coming in. But notwithstanding, I had a fantastic sleep. I slept like a log <laughs> through all that. So uh, it rained until early this morning and then it cleared up this beautiful uh, morning. Uh, I think it's gonna rain one more time and then that'll be it. But anyway, I am all packed up. I'm ready to go and so excited to make it to Delaware Water Gap. So uh, let's pack up and let's go. Well, this is it. We're on the trail. Oh, it's such a beautiful morning. Sunny. I'm not sure what the temperature is, but it feels like high 40s. It's just perfect. After last night's rains, the trail is very, very wet. So I know I have some steep, uh, descent so I'm definitely going to have to be very careful so the plan for today is to hike into Delaware Water Gap and uh, it should be a very short day I'm only six miles away so and um, and you see they're mostly flat or going down so this, this should go very fast so so excited. Well, that's the first view of the day. That's Delaware Park Ave. Well, someone has been making a home here. And I don't know if it's my imagination, but 
I see a inverted heart shape. Very cool. Hi guys, just an update. Uh, I'm very close to the end. This is New Jersey. So uh, I'm continuing on the descent. The, uh, it's pretty rocky and it's very slippery because of the rains last night. So I'm just taking my time and uh, going over the rocks very carefully. So I am about a mile to the end. So it should be pretty smooth sailing from here. And I uh, just want to show you the last vista in Pennsylvania. And I'll see you in New Jersey. I just entered the town of Delaware Water Gap. to cross the Delaware River. State line is right in the middle of the river. I'm about to cross the state line. I crossed into New Jersey. Oh my God. Hi guys. So I just got off the road and uh, I made it. I made it to New Jersey. I backpacked 230 miles across the state of Pennsylvania. I made it through heavy rains, heat exhaustion, long stretches of trail without water, and endless rocks and boulders. Pennsylvania was rough. 
It made me cry, it made me sweat, it even made me bleed. And I thought at times it may even break me, but I made it, I'm here. And today I crossed the state line much stronger than I was when I started uh, in Penmar. It has been said that the finish line is for the ego, but the journey is for the soul. And this journey, it's not over. So thank you so much for accompanying me in this journey. And if you like what you saw, like, subscribe, or just stay tuned. There's a lot more to come soon. Until the next one, take care, and I will see you on the trails.